felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. A matter of coin. Very well. Impossible. Thy party is full. Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Such is life. Outrage leading to a singular end. something to ask. Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Never wanted the easy path. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought a Mind Flayer might know how to extricate one of its own from you. But a Meloem couldn't help you. Your tadpole lives. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Omeluam is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Emeluum realized this before he attempted a fatal extraction. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun.
I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. No, I can handle this, for now. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. You seem to know a good deal about our condition, Gail. Everything, really. Not to put too fine a point on it. A humble specimen, aren't you? On occasion.
open up. I'll take that. Give up now. I had a bag of holding. Breathed a curious mask. What's it doing here? I've never seen anything like it. Greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. The music shifts, still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar Blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow, 
striding among Mykonid dead. Mir, this one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. Peace bringer. Have a look. The decaying corpse lies before you. The head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. His flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. saying. back for the others. No, Lunk Bug. Our work is bigger than any one of us. Even Wolver. Watch your back. Oh. 
Keep it quick. Bloody worthless. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Can I go myself? cover proudly announces this book to be Flump's Mating Rituals. Mad supposition, questionable diagrams, and many gleeful references to tentacles. Not an overly academic text. announces this book to be Flump's Mating Rituals. Underdark Fauna is a topic much written on, but this title has never appeared in any collection you've seen. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine.
Bibberbeck. Of course, it was Bibberbeck. Another step forward. 